Well, tonight's project was of the slightly nerdy variety. I got this MSP Launchpad development kit uh, the other day. It's from Texas Instruments. They announced it about a month ago, but they've been on back order, so mine just arrived. Uh, it's $4.30, which is really quite amazing. Uh, for that $4.30, you get the development kit, which is this red board. It includes two microcontrollers, the one that's in it and then a second one that has slightly different features. Uh, it comes with the USB cable, uh, it comes with the pin headers that you can solder in uh, so that you can hook other stuff up to it. There's a couple LEDs on the board, there's a button on the board. And then through the board, this side of the board is all the programming and emulation side. Uh, you're able to program and debug the chip uh, in circuit over USB. So uh, it's, it's really quite impressive what they give you for such a low price. Uh, you're also able to download a C compiler for it and an assembler. Um, and the C compiler for this chip is essentially unrestricted. Uh, you don't hit any code size uh, limits or anything. This particular chip has a two kilobytes of flash memory for the code. So for my project, I just hooked it up to a SparkFun uh, serial LCD and then wrote up a little program that outputs over serial to the SparkFun LCD uh, that every time you push the button down here it just increments the counter and it tells you how many times you've pushed the button there. Uh, and then we go up to 10, it'll go ahead and make space for a larger number there. A couple interesting things about this chip and this project in general just as a demonstration project uh, when the chip is waiting for the button input, it's in a very low power mode. The CPU itself is shut down. Uh, all of the clocks are shut down, so the internal oscillator and then all the subclocks off of it. Uh, all the peripherals are shut down. It's using essentially no power. And then when you push the button, the interrupt brings the chip back up into active mode, turns the clocks back on, does its thing, obviously executes the code that I wrote for it, and then it goes back into its... Uh, low power mode. And there's several different low power modes. This particular project happens to be able to utilize the lowest power mode when it's just waiting for the button input. Also, this doesn't have a hardware UART. Um, it is doing asynchronous serial communication between the microcontroller and the uh, little serial interface on this LCD, but the UART is being emulated in software using the timer peripheral. So rather than just sending data to a, an actual UART peripheral, uh, it's buffering the data and then it's just having the timer fire and interrupt at essentially the baud rate. It's emulating a 9600 baud rate and then shifting the bits of data out uh, on each of those uh, those timer interrupts. And then again, it can go back into its sleep mode. So it's pretty cool. Um, you can just oops, you can just push the button all day long. Um, I you know just a little code thing. I have it reset after 999. It resets back to one. Otherwise, I'd run out of room on the LCD screen there. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it's fun to play with. It's relatively straightforward to program if you've had any experience with microcontrollers. Um, in terms of learning microcontroller development sort of from scratch, if you haven't done it before, I have found the documentation and the examples online to be a little bit uh, lacking. They're not as straightforward to follow or to learn from uh, as if you're just trying to learn PIC programming, for example, or even the Arduino. Um, but, you know, if you have general familiarity with microcontroller programming, um, you know, I was able to figure this stuff out and get this far just with about two nights worth of playing around, you know, starting with the Blink the LEDs project and then moving right on to this serial interfacing project. So it's pretty neat. Uh, MSP430 Launchpad Development Kit, just search Google for MSP430 Launchpad, you'll find these things. They're back ordered again, but I think they should ship more soon. I went ahead and ordered another... Uh, another three of them, and you're limited to three at a time. Uh, it's really quite impressive that they're able to give you this complete package for such a low price.